Hi everyone and welcome to another tutorial. I recently found a really nice um, feature in Affinity and that is you can create brushes that uh, have uh, colors and uh, multiple uh, images that will be used as the brush tip and um, this uh, what you see in my screen is one example that I will show you how you can create uh, something similar like that and use it as a brush to uh, create nice designs. So let's get started. I already created the images that will be feathers in my case that I will use for creating my brush. So I'm using Affinity Designer because here I can quite fast create different um, kinds of colors that I like with the gradient tool here and I will go to the export persona and create new slices from all these feathers. Now I have all the slices and here I can change the size that I would like to have. I, in my case I want to have 500 pixel. I will copy this configuration and put it to all the other slices and export them. Um, where do I want to have that? Yeah, let's take it here, make a new folder. Good, export. Now we, sh we should have the images. Let's go back to the now let's go to the pixel persona because we will create a pixel brush. Then we have to have the brush panel open that you can open by view studio brushes. I already have it open here. Then let's just create a new category, rename the category uh, my color full stuff. Okay. And now we want to create the brush and we just use the menu here and say new image brush. And here you can select the images that you want to include in your brush. Um, just hold down shift and click select all of the images you want and select open. Now you see here we have the brush. When we double click it we uh, get into the settings and I want to have a little bit more dynamics here. For example I want to have a little bit of size jittering and I don't as I'm currently using the mouse, I will set that to random. If you're using a pen, then uh, pressure is maybe what you would like to set here. A bit of accumulation jittering, a bit of flow jittering, the rotation and scattering. Here, a little bit of hue change saturation change. Good. And a bit more of spacing here and the size. Let's make it a bit bigger here. Good. Now we already have a nice brush and let's try it out. And we have a really nice colorful rainbowish feather trail here. Good, that's 
all that I wanted to show you. I just thought that's a really nice feature of Affinity and wanted to share that with you. Um, yeah, if you want to follow my channel, there is a bell button uh, below the video. Um, if you click that, you will get notified when I upload a new video. Um, have a nice day.